With Zaire Smith getting injured, it will mark the sixth straight year where a Philadelphia 76ers rookie has had an injury. Five out of their last six rookies have had major injuries with the only one not having a serious injury being Jalil Okafor. Still, Okafor missed 29 games his rookie season a considerable portion. Many have claimed that the Philadelphia 76ers are cursed, but if you take a deeper look it seems that majority of his injuries have a trend, a trend that is consistent among most of their rookies. Let's take a deeper look into this trend and why all the Philadelphia 76ers rookies keep getting hurt. What's up YouTube, it's your boy SD back with another video and let's get into it. Before this video starts, let's try and hit 20 likes if you like this type of video. The last 6 top picks for the Sixers were Nerlens Noel, Joel Embiid, Jalil Okafor, Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz, and Zaire Smith. All of these players minus Okafor had serious muscular damage or a broken bone. For Fultz, we still don't have a clear answer what was wrong with him. Now you might think though, if these injuries are recurring issues, maybe the Sixers are drafting players who were injured beforehand. The thing is though, only Joel and Nerlens were injured before they were drafted so that isn't true. Minus Nerlens Noel and Zaire Smith, the cause of injury is most likely due to weight. If you weigh too much, you'll put too much stress on your joints or bones, making you more prone to getting hurt. If you take a deeper look, Jalil had sore knees, Joel and Ben had fractures, and Markel we still have no idea what's wrong with him once again. There were reports during the draft that Joel weighed around 300 pounds. To put this in your mind, DeAndre Jordan and Andre Drummond weigh 265 pounds and 280 pounds respectively. That is heavy for a player being 300 pounds. Another player who weighed over 300 pounds while they were in the league was Yao Ming. He weighed 311 pounds and he was constantly injured with ankle or foot problems. He had 3 left foot fractures which is quite a bit. It was so bad it forced him into retirement. All that weight probably put a lot of stress on Joel's feet causing him to miss his first 2 seasons. He ended up slimming down a bit a lot since then, now being at 249 pounds, a 50 pound drop now. You might be thinking though, the weight trend makes sense with Joel and Jalil, they were big men right? But how does this apply to Markel and Ben, two guys that aren't even heavy for NBA standards? One's weighed in the 240s, one's weighed below 200 pounds. This is where it gets interesting, Markel, Ben and Joel included put a quite a bit of weight on when they entered the league. That offseason Markel put 15 pounds on, Ben put 33 pounds on, and Joel put 50 pounds on. You can also realize a trend here. Joel missed the most time putting the most weight on, then Ben missed the second most time, and Markel missed the least amount of time coming back his rookie year. The more the weight these guys gained, the more time they missed. Even though they put a lot of strength on their body which is beneficial in other ways, their bodies aren't used to this type of weight and stress on it. All these games came right before the draft in the same summer they got hurt. Their bodies weren't acclimated to survive this type of stress and as a result during workouts and games their bodies gave out. And ultimately now they have fractures and we don't know what's up with bolts. Zaire Smith and Noel were different cases though. Noel was a poor draft selection with a torn ACL entering the draft so the team took a huge risk on him and missed out. A torn ACL is usually a major injury and probably took away Noel's athleticism. Zaire on the other hand has just been diagnosed with a fractured foot and he did not put much weight on this summer. His injury might be due to his shoes. He signed with Puma and is wearing their gear. Puma hasn't made basketball shoes since the 20th century. Their shoes haven't been released yet but it's not off to say they lack experience in this field and as a result their product is below average. In sports like basketball with heavy running such as track, runners have to wear quality shoes or they sustain stress fracture because of all the pounding they put on their legs while running. For Zaire, he may have suffered the fracture as a result of playing a lot of basketball on the poor shoes. In conclusion, the most common factor and trend of the Sixers injuries is huge weight gains and players weighing too much. Hopefully the curse breaks for Sixers fans or otherwise rookies will be afraid to be drafted there. Thanks for watching, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell to get notification for when I post, and go check out my last video. I'm out. Man, work